Hi everyone, this is Allie with Triple Seat. This video will review Triple Seat Direct form settings. Now that we have configured our Triple Seat Direct options and built out our menus, it's time to make the information available to our guests utilizing a new form specifically for Triple Seat Direct. This form is similar to the standard Triple Seat Lead form where the guest will provide a date, time, and a guest count. With the new Triple Seat Direct form, now our guests can give us even more detail, such as submitting menu selections and choosing a room for on-premise events. The manager is alerted to the direct booking and decides whether to accept or reject it. Best practices are to embed the form on our primary website, social media accounts, and include it in our email blasts or other marketing campaigns. I'm going to add this form to as many areas of the internet as I can, which will lead to more business that we can instantly capture. To create a new Triple Seat Direct form, I'll go to Settings and click on Triple Seat Direct Forms. I can either edit an existing form or add a new form on the top right. Let's add a new form. First, I will give this form a name. Next, I can check the allowed event styles for this specific form. We will only accept on-premise, drop-off, and pick-up events for this form, but not full-service catering. I can indicate which locations should be available for direct booking through this form on the right. As this form offers on-premise events, I will click on the plus sign next to the location name and check the individual rooms to show for direct bookings. I'll now click Save. Triple Seat has a delivery integration with DoorDash Drive. To use the integration with this form, select this option. Moving down, by default, Triple Seat Direct Forms will automatically include the logo and banner image from our location settings. I can override the branding on this specific form if desired here. Next, we will check the selectable menus available on this form. I will use the compass to the left of the menu to rearrange the customer facing order. At any time, I can come in and uncheck a menu to remove it from this form. Here is where I select which documents are automatically shared with my guest upon approval of a direct booking. Under form minimums, I can set the food and beverage minimum totals, as well as the guest count requirement. It is important to note that the minimum spends are per event style, and these minimums are calculated before any taxes or fees are applied. I also have the option to include a gratuity selector on this Triple Seat Direct form. This allows the guest to select their gratuity amount before submitting the inquiry. Here I can customize the percentage options. I can make the gratuity selection required and can also adjust some of the verbiage here. If we are using DoorDash Drive on this form, I will set the gratuity for our DoorDash driver. There are three different amounts to fill out. Minimum is the minimum gratuity that the DoorDash driver will receive on an order. Minimum is a flat dollar amount. Split is the percentage of the gratuity that is given to the driver. The remaining percentage is kept for the venue. Cap is the maximum dollar amount the DoorDash driver can receive on an order. Cap is also a flat dollar amount. All of these amounts must be a value greater than zero. If nothing is filled out, the default will be a minimum of $10, a split of 50%, and a cap of $100. In the next section, I can customize the rest of the verbiage on the form such as the header text, payment and order disclaimers, and terms and conditions. The terms and conditions will populate before our guest enters their payment information. 
Finally, at the bottom, I can set an expiration, which is set in hours. I want to be sure to enter a number here, as the inquiry will auto-reject if our team is unable to respond in a timely manner. This ensures that our customers are not left wondering if they are having an event with us. Some forms created will require specialty availability. Specialty availability is needed when a form should offer availability that falls outside of what is set up in configuration and hours settings. For example, a unique holiday availability. Check out our YouTube page for more information on specialty availability forms. Once a direct booking has been submitted, the guest will receive an automatic email. They will also receive an email once the booking is accepted or rejected. Here, I can adjust the automatic emails. At the bottom, I will check off which Triple Seat users on my team should receive a notification when a guest submits a Triple Seat Direct inquiry. Once a Triple Seat Direct form has been created, we can post it in a few different ways. To get this form on your website, I will click Setup Codes to the right of the form that was created and will share these codes with my web developer. To add a link to this form to our social media profile or within an email blast, I can click View Live Page to the right of the form. This brings up a live version of the Triple Seat Direct form, and I can copy and paste this URL anywhere on the internet. I use the View Live Page button so that I'm able to preview what my form looks like on the guest end. Starting with event style, they'll choose if this is going to be an in-house or a catered event. They are then going to select which location they're interested in having this event with, and if they are requesting an in-house event, the next step will be to choose the room within the location. They can enter in their guest count, select the date for which they're interested in, as well as a start time and an end time. On the next screen, clients will see all active menus for their selected location. They can browse the menus and select menu items. And once they select a menu item, they're going to be prompted to add a quantity for that item. And if applicable, they'll be able to select modifiers. As the guest is working through selecting their menu items, a summary box populates to the right of the page with the total charges, as well as a disclaimer about additional fees. For delivery orders using DoorDash Drive, they will see a breakdown of the DoorDash fees and driver gratuity. When the guest clicks Next, they'll be able to enter in their personal information, including the event name, their first and last name, company, email, phone, plus any additional information. Clicking Add Payment will allow them to acknowledge our terms and conditions. Next, the guest will authorize their credit card for payment. Once the booking has been submitted, guests are sent an automatic email, and it's now arrived in Triple Seat as a new Triple Seat Direct booking for my team to manage. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions about this feature or need any help implementing it, please reach out to our support team by clicking the Help and Questions button on the top right of any page in Triple Seat.